piece, Beast Wars Megatron here. They're two masterpieces that are going to be something coming down the pipes. Uh, these were both shown uh, in glorious uh, images on the Takara Tommy Mall website after they were revealed at the convention. We have a MP29 Plus Shockwave, or no, better known in Japan as Laser Wave, and we have a MP36 Plus Megatron. Now these two, their entire purpose is just more or less to be toy accurate to their original versions. The MP laser wave that we got originally was in the lavender colors based on the show design. Um, what was interesting was the laser wave that came, the original one, the, MP, the original 29, came with a whole bunch of pieces and accessories that made it very accurate to the original show, where... Uh, this the only thing it just didn't possess was the correct color of purple. So now you're going to have all the accessories, all the pieces, all the colors, and the correct color scheme to make your perfect one. And the pre-order for that one up right now, because it's on the Takara Tommy Mall website, mm -hmm. uh, is $200 more or less. It's it's uh, 21,600 yen, which comes to about, if you translate it right now as of this recording, $196 American. I find that quite bizarre, though, because <laughs> the original didn't cost that much. I remember pre-ordering mine, I want to say, 150 at most. Mm. So this is very bizarre for a $50 price increase uh, for more or less the exact same thing. The only argument I could give is uh, lower numbers, and it might be a Takara Tommy Mall exclusive, but that's very bizarre. Um, and it's the same thing... Uh, for the Megatron here, the Megatron, what's going on with this one is it's also toy accurate. What's going on with that is it's it's more of a, uh, the head is different to match more that toy accurate head, which had a very different kind of mold at the time with the with the box art and the, the packaging art and the early look that he used to have in the comics. Uh, it gives the swirl design on the chest, which was again also found on the original toy. Uh, the red all over it. Again, the red accents were something that were present all on the original figure. Uh, by them doing this, I could, I'll could i tell you this right now, they're going to get another repaint out of this. They're going to take all that red, turn it blue, and they're going to do a Megaplex repaint So and probably come with a sword accessory. So I'm pretty sure, you know, we got, we got MP36 plus uh, Megatron here. We're going to get probably an MP36 plus B with Megaplex at some point, probably, or, or P, or whatever you want to call it. Um, same thing also, this guy's 200 bucks more or less. Uh, that one makes a little more sense, because that toy, a um, lot more going on there, mm -hmm. a lot more parts, a lot more busy. Yep, yep. Um, so that one makes a little more sense. I'm Again, I'm really questioning uh, the pricing here on this laser wave. It's That's kind of silly, because he wasn't worth that much originally. But uh, again, these are interesting. It's interesting that they're, again, they have to do something with those molds, just like we said with the, the Beast Wars Megatron discussion we had. You know, they, they look at those molds and they go, what do you do? The, the Laser Wave 1, they have done nothing with it up to that point right now. I was, I was shocked that they didn't, like, you know, do a gray one yet, mm. you know, just to go, hey, you know, gray Laser Wave. Um, I think it's coming. It, oh, it's coming! They can, it's they coming can, they for can sure. Parse these out. They don't it's have coming to do for all sure. Of, you know, I'm just, I'm just surprised. Uh, I'm surprised that wasn't like the first choice. But uh, again, they're they're doing that. Well, yeah, like and, you're doing the cartoon character, the cartoon colors, and then it's like, well, do we do the obscure original color, or do we do the toy that everyone bought as a kid color? Well, that's why. So, yeah. and, and and especially like again. I'm happy that they went with the show accurate colors first. I know that when it first came out, a lot of people were complaining about those colors. But again, the whole point of Masterpiece is to be show accurate first. And here you go. So now you get your uh, toy accurate colors. Now you colors got your toy accurate worth, one. It's and, so much more money. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and again, I like that because now, like, because he came with so many accessories. He was a like easily one of my favorite Masterpiece toys is this Shockwave. He came with... Like, his hand that's clear, mm -hmm. he also comes with a hand that's not clear. His cannon that's clear also comes with a cannon that's but not clear. But does he have so two, hand, two hands that are clear, though? It seems yeah. like it. But you could have two hands that are clear, but ah, you could okay. have two hands that are not clear. Right, right. That's okay. the thing. Like, like they ca like just in case you wanted A, like, same thing, he has a backpack there. That backpack is totally optional mm. if you want to be toy accurate or show accurate. Like, they, they, that toy literally gave you everything you wanted to do 
short of it having a color change gimmick mm-hmm. to make it, you know, if it was able to turn from color A to color B, then literally it would have given people everything they want. Yeah, yeah. So it it was such a it was such a great masterpiece toy and now it's going to be able to do what that other half of the fandom that were not happy with it it's going to be able to give them that so it, it's great i'm gonna i, I, I want to pick this one up just so i could have because i love shockwave he's one of my favorite decepticons and i want to pick this up but right now that price is really confusing me i'm going to wait it out and see what's happening yeah uh, the Megatron is cool too. I didn't really expect them to go that route to go like a to- toy accurate new head sculpt and everything. I really dig it, but that's one I'm going to probably wait out. I I definitely do want to get it, but that's something I think I'm going to wait. Uh, I don't want to like I don't want to like you know really point it out, but a lot of times guys they they jump on masterpieces like day one uh-huh. and then they end up reselling them mm. and then I kind of buy them <laughs> cheaper from those individuals. So and uh, one thing I'll say about the Megatron at least in the picture here, like that pose, like, I think it's kind of burned into my head where, um, remember back Based in the off day, the box art pose. Like, and remember back in the day when you would have the, um, the storybook transformers and they yep. were drawn off the toys a lot of the time. They were, it was always whoever were the artists on, it was Lady Bird, And I want to say it was another company too, that were doing the, uh, the, the, the storybooks. A lot of times the artists on those, they pulled all their inspiration from the control art of the box art. Mm, yeah. So, so that's just it. And that pose specifically that the, the Megatron has, that's completely 100% based off of the box art. Yeah, exactly. Uh, not the shockwave, not so much so, but definitely the, uh, the Megatron, the Megatron for sure. <laughs> this is something that like, my brain's like, that looks super familiar. That like outline. Oh, yeah. Because that's what very... they used to do. They used to just they would literally trace the box art and then like articulate the limbs for the different scenes in the pages. Um, let me just try to reach over to one of the books in specific. Like let's see, we have here uh, we have Insecticon Attack, and it was done by Marvin Books. And yeah, like again, everything was very toy toy inspired, more or less. Yeah. Let's see what else we got here. I have a whole bunch of these. <laughs> you don't have to go through all of them now. Come on. Yeah, like, uh, see, I, I understand. Where, here's um, When Continents he, Collide. That was the one that came with the record. Mm, you know, oh, they, yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, I have a whole bunch of them here. Wasn't, but, there, yeah, one, I see wasn't there one with um, Fire, Fire, Fire? What's his name? Shoot. Inferno? No, not Inferno. Fire, sub, Skyfire? Skyfire? Is it Skyfire? Ooh, I don't know about that. Sorry, uh, um, the, the one. Jeez. Ah, the one that was we the have, Valkyrie. I have this one here, too, still with the record. This was Storms of Destruction. This was by Kid Stuff Records. Yeah, Kid again, Stuff. It, Shout out to Kid Stuff. There you go. So, like, I mean, again, I uh, this is all, like, I'm, it's uh, my whole library is right to the right of uh, our recording area. So, a whole bunch of crazy stuff here. But, yeah, either way, really looking forward to these. These are awesome. Again, the more... As I get into the, quote, geriatric years of my years of being a Transformer collector, the more I focus on the more high-end stuff. And every time the Masterpiece line does a release, I really put a, a focus over it and sometimes get excited about it because it's really cool stuff and it, it never disappoints. 